I say, Greystoke, this is very jolly and all. It's about your adventures in Guatemala. Now, I'm afraid I'm not at all a good storyteller. But I see someone who might help us. I say, Markling, our guests have been asking to hear the tale of our adventures in Guatemala. I thought perhaps you might help them. I must beg to be excused, old man. <laughs> Old maid will look in her magic crystal, and you will all hear the tale. In the crystal, I see a strange country. It is Guatemala. A land with smoldering volcanoes towering above peaceful lakes of limpid waters. I see quaint little villages filled with picturesque natives and ancient cathedrals. I see mighty rivers running through treacherous jungles silent remains of a great empire. Beneath these ruins, I see fanatic worshippers assembled in a temple. Their sacred idol has been stolen from the altar, and the high priest pledges his subject to avenge the desecration. <laughs> Everything's checked, Major Marling. Splendid. Well, I hope you have a nice trip to Livingston. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. And good luck. Miss Vega? Goodbye. Goodbye, Tarzan. Goodbye, old man. Goodbye, George. Goodbye. Nothing to do now but go home, sir. Right, George. Homeward bound at last. For the green goddess. And our mission fulfilled, Martling. Yes. Thanks to you, old man. Our only remaining task is the safe return of this relic to civilization. Well, shall we proceed? Sure. Right. I'll get Nikim and follow. Come on. Get your banners ready. Put your best man on this. Old man? Oh, just had a mean spell coming through those hellish jungles. Can I help you? No, I don't want any help. I'll be all right. Senior Powers here. I am Raglan. Find the dead city? Yes. I found the dead city and the goddess. The goddess, eh? Well, where is it? Well, it was in my hands when... Uh... Oh, never mind the excuses. Where is the idol now? Uh, the uh, Martling Expedition has it. So the Martling Expedition has it, eh? Why, you infernal blunder, do you realize what your mistake means? We've lost a fortune. That green goddess contained the formula of the ancient Mayan explosive. 
Any nation would give millions to get it. Millions. But I'd like to see you got them from that ape man. The ape man? Do you mean Tarzan? I wonder if you know what it means to be in the jungles with him on your trail. Any moment an idler drop down out of a tree, lurking in the very arrows, his hands almost clutching your throat. Why, I tell you, man, I was lucky to get out of there with my life, let alone any goddess. Look here, Agnum. We still have a chance. I leave at once for the East Coast. And if Simon Blade meets you with his ship at Livingston. Now, there's only one trail leading to the Rio Dulce. And the mopping expedition will have to travel on it to get to the river. Yeah? Now, what's to prevent you? I'm going over there. Now you've got men hidden on both sides of the ravine. Si, senor. Good. Espera. I wish Tarzan wouldn't lag behind us like this. Maybe something's happened to him. Ridiculous. What would happen to Tarzan? Well, you never can tell. Suppose, uh, suppose some of those monsters from the dead city has followed us. Well, you know, they may be right. Don't be silly, George. There isn't anything to fear any longer. Let's get going. Get your men moving. Compañero. Get goddess. Mr. 
Smith. Are you all right? I think so. I still have to get that code book from Martling. You watch the goddess while I see what I can do. The goddess, it's gone. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you that the whole solace from the ruins would be on our trail? Whoever stole the goddess had no connection with the dead city, George. Well, whom do you suspect, then? It wouldn't surprise me if it were Raglan. What about the document? Thank heaven they didn't get it. The code is no good without the goddess. Without this document, the thief dare not open the goddess. He'd be blown to atoms by the secret explosive it contains. Then there's still a chance to recover the goddess. Have the porters make camp. Tomas, prepare camp here. Time, Mark. It was Ragland. The book gone. You two men go to Manteep and send that message from the radio office. Yeah. If all goes well, I'll meet you at Porta Barrios. I'm going to pick up Ragland's trail again. Little Let me see what's bothering you. Well, no wonder you're limping. Yeah. All right, I'll have it out in a moment. There it is.
12. What about Raglan? Did you see him? Raglan caught the boat for Porto Barrios. I'm sorry to have failed, Martin. But if we get to start for the river at once, we can signal the next boat and catch Raglan there. We'll break camp at once. All right, George. They see us. Our better plan would be to search the cantinas. Raglan would most likely hide at some out of the way place. Let's split here, go through this neighborhood, and you can search the other parts of town. Well, look, I have to go to the cable office anyhow. I'd like to go along with you, Major, if I may. Certainly, my dear. No, senor, your friend has sent no message. I'm going to my room. If anyone inquires for me, I'm not there. Dan. Perfectly. time to waste looking for you when I return. Uh, I'll be over on that bench and I'll stay right there. I'll see that you do. Uh, no, sir. Oh, I, I mean, yes, sir. Sir, uh, I sat down on that bench with the best of intentions. But this guide insisted that I see Porto Farius. Besides, he had my yo-yo. Come on. Yes, sir. No. Ended, what do you mean? Raglan was on that balcony just a moment ago. 
What are you going to do? Dental tracking's for me. I'd like to see Mr. Ragland. There's no one here by that name. You may use another name. I've already told you he is not here. Very well. We'll wait for him. Badly, old man. Gee, I think all your bones will be broken. <laughs> I'm all right, George. Hard then. What happened? I found Raglan in a room up there and attempted to get the idol, but. Listen, you get some native bears, and we'll meet you at the south end of town. All right, Chief. We can certainly be thankful you recovered the code. Yes. Yeah. But if I hadn't been so impulsive, you might have the goddess too. What is it? It's a clue to Raglan's root and plans. Look. Let us find some bears and start at once. We must stop Raglan before he meets the others. Here, you better take care of this. Say, what's the idea, Chief? What's your hurry? Tarzan, he might be on our trail. Not a chance. Not after falling off that balcony, he wouldn't. He must have broken his neck. Not Tarzan. He's got more lives than the jungle animals he plays with. You wait back there for me. If Tarzan comes, you'll be needing all the men. Don't worry. All right, boy. Hey, I wonder if the chief is right about Tarzan being on our trail. 
Ah, oh, that chief is crazy. I tell you, that guy Tarzan is as dead as a mackerel. Get a rope from this pack. Tie him up. That'll hold him till the chief gets back. Try to find Major Martin. He must be somewhere at the top of the falls. Si, señorita. The book. I've lost the code book to the goddess. The book is safe, Tarzan. But how? Where? You dropped it when we brought you ashore. But Raglan made his escape with the goddess. We saw him headed downstream in a cayuca. Then I must hurry after him at once. What is this, Nango? Speak English. Black devils. Uh, take away, mm, Senor Muslin, Senor George. Black devils? What do you mean? He means Queen Maya's monsters. The black robed emissaries of the high priest. Take your men and return to camp. And you? I'm going to try to pick up their trail. But Tarzan! Should he come, Senorita? No. We're heading for the dead city. If Tarzan loses their trail, we may be able to help. But, senorita, 
Those blocks, Bevel. Never mind, hurry up.
here. When they come for me, we'll make a break for it. Keep up your nerve. Here they come. They brought us here. You're to be questioned by the high priest through me. These instruments bring out truthful answers. But I've already told you. We haven't the green goddess, nor do we know where it is. A fellow by the name of Raglan got it. And we don't know what he did with it. Wolf! What are they going to do to me? That's why you can tell them nothing. Let them question me. Hmm?
Al Pedro. Simon Blade here? Yeah, on board the ship off Cara Point. Listen, I'm being watched. I can't come aboard until dusk. I'll have a man signal it from the point. You understand? Aye, aye, sir. Hey, Captain, we escaped without any casualties. Say, what would happen to Raglan if the monsters caught him with the goddess? I don't think they will, George. By now, Raglan's probably found a safe refuge. Don't give up hope, Major. We may yet catch Raglan. When I saw him heading downstream, I sent one of my men after him. He'll either return with news or send word. Look, someone's coming. It must be Lopez. The messenger my man said he'd sent from Mantique. News of Raglan? Yes, Senor Lopez. Raglan seems to be waiting for someone at Mantique. But whom, Jose does not yet know. Well, is Jose still watching Raglan? Oh, si, senor. And there's a strange sailing ship laying off the shore south of Mantique. And Jose thinks that possibly those whom Raglan's waiting for are on board that boat. I'd like to see that mysterious ship. The Cayuca won't carry all of us, so I'll cut through the jungle and meet you at Mantique. Hands off that goddess. This will be the last time you will meddle in my business. Well, you... Oh, 
got her. Quick, we'd better get out of here. We have a car back on the road. Good. All right, I'll get my party together and be aboard within an hour. That'll be fine, Major. Handed, huh? So we're sailing without the goddess. And who's the bungler now? Well, mister, the contents, the jewels, and the formula are aboard this ship now. You mean that Markling has chartered this vessel? Exactly. You wanted to escape you? I made it my business to see that this was the only ship available. Why, Blade, that's very clever. Very, very clever. Well, why not get what we want? Get rid of these people. Oh, no. You've made too many mistakes already. I'm running this from now on. I warned you. Uh, don't show that ugly mug on deck. I put our best cabin at your disposal, Miss Vale. I hope you'll be comfortable. Thank you. I know I will be. It isn't often these days we have a lady aboard. I suppose not, Captain. I know you're going to have a very pleasant voyage. I'm sure of it. Now, Major, if you'll excuse me, I'll give orders to set sail. Splendid. Well, homeward bound at last. <laughs> Blow up on your board, mate, top! Nice fellow, the captain. Very. The shade too nice. Break out, old man, mate! Oh, I see. Go off, you need to get to me. Get off your head, too. Let go of your sheets, let go of your tank.
Is this true? Absolutely. And during this experience, Tarzan was our savior again. Later, of course, we were picked up by a passing ship. And, well, here we are. But what about the precious formula? Was it saved? Is it here? Yes. The formula was saved and it is here. Before we boarded the ship, we were fortunate enough to open the green goddess in an old deserted shack. Ah, oh, that's got it. This may be it. Can you read it, Martin? Yes. Uh, partly. This is undoubtedly the formula. What is it? It is a formula for an explosive far more powerful than any known to modern science. In the hands of a warlike nation, that means the total destruction of civilization. What are you going to do with it? Aren't you afraid it may still be stolen? Yes, we are. And for that reason, we have decided to let Miss Vale make the final disposition of it. Miss Vale? Is she here? Perhaps old Mag We'll look into the crystal and produce Miss Vale. <laughs> Old Meg will do her best. <laughs> look, ladies and gentlemen. Old Mag has produced Miss Vale. And here's the formula. The cut of all our difficulties. Well, that's all over now. 
I looked in the crystal and seen that it's much too dangerous to be in anyone's hands. So with Major Martling's permission, I'll destroy it. Document destroyed? More than meeting and learning to know you. Not worth any hardship. I'm the one who is grateful, Eula, for having met you. And we both owe much to that little function. We surely do. 